Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys? I'm hoping you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. So we're going to go ahead and do a reading for you guys for uh, September 10th through the 20th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Just an overall reading, whatever messages is coming through that you need to know. Okay, so let's see. There will be an extended as usual in the description box below. All right, so what does Sagittarius need to know using our Celtic Cross spread from the 10th through the 20th of September? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. five chakras and start one more please all right we have the ace of pentacles so definitely you're looking for an opportunity a chance prosperity to begin that is such a Sagittarius uh, energy, the Knight of Wands. Going towards this uh, door. Financial abundance as well here. The beginning of financial abundance, but also someone wants, again, uh, an opportunity to open. This is something that has been invested and I've been given a lot of uh, time, a lot of dedication with the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of waiting, patiently waiting for things to move faster. Yep. There's been a lot of non-productive, I don't want to say non-productive, but a lot of not action oriented um, Mars is going retrograde today, so things may change pretty soon. Okay, so overall, what are you going to be questioning here? What is the situation for you, Sagittarius? And we're starting with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you, but overall, it's about emotions with this Queen. It's about intuition. This may be the Queen you're interested, or this may be you here guided by your intuition and your heart and your emotions it's all about feelings so what can help or hinder this is the three of pentacles compromises things that efforts there there's a lot to be worked mars in capricorn which is more action oriented uh mars but again it's looking at things in a practical way some of you may be dealing with work situation you have to build this is the startup of a of a business manifestation of work if you are dealing with this person that again you having very close to your heart here you are looking for some type of collaboration and alliance some type of to, to put things together we will see when we also go uh, you know for, with a whole reading why is such a positive card as the three of Pentacles kind of preventing you from going with your uh, heart and your emotion and your intuition we have the queen of wands so look at these two energies here you're questioning the queen of cups energy but the queen of wands is what's going on subconsciously here and it's very much your element um, <clears throat> fire and water by the way um, on both of these queens the Queen of Wands wants what it wants. She wants to follow her desires, very passionate. Um, action, 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 action. That's what the Queen of Wands wants. She gets bored easily if there's uh, no things being moving forward. It's all about excitement here. So subconsciously, this is what's going on. The entrepreneurial, the boss attitude of the Queen of Wands. In the past, the Four of Pentacles, there was a lot of uh, holding back holding on to your money, holding on to your possessions, holding on to your boundaries. Someone has not been very open here uh, with the Four of Pentacles. It was all about the prosperity though, remember with that Ace of Pentacles, but someone was not taking risks and there were a lot of uh, concerns here about security and establishment. Because remember the Three of Pentacles is what's, uh, <clears throat> what the obstacle or the hindering here, or what's crossing you with that attitude. So what is going to go consciously here? So the subconscious is the queen of wands and the best situation here that you see possible or the person here that you're connecting is the hierophant. Okay, so it's all about faith here. Praying for some of you here that things will unfold in a positive way. We may be talking for Taurus only for a few of you. I know that I get some comments that, oh, I don't like Taurus. Again, guys, it's, uh, it's for the collective. But the hierophant does represent vows, commitment, promises 
very spiritual connection as well. Some of you may be considering higher education here, a counseling as well with this uh, hierophant. There are things that need to be worked and compromised, more earthly. Know that your passions here and your emotions, uh, you know, are just want to act out. But we are surrounded now a lot about stability and tradition and, you know, hard work and doing, um, you know, what you're supposed to do with a hierophant. It's very moralistic or traditional type of element. But this is what you have in your uh, conscious mind. And then things are going to get excited for you guys. The page of wands. As I mentioned, if you want to explore something regarding higher education, there needs, uh, you know, just to keep building right now with the three of pentacles. But the page of uh, wands is saying that good news are coming towards you. Messages for some of you, uh, you know, starting something, uh, a business. The page of wands, like uh, the queen of wands, it's a page, of course. Um, it is a little bit of an age difference with these two or again when it comes to status. But both want to go with the flow here. They learn by experience. And this is what's coming towards you. If you've been waiting here patiently <clears throat> for some news, it's coming. Very adventurous. How you see yourself. You are self-focused here with the Eight of Pentacles. You're working. You're dedicated. <clears throat> you're paying attention to details. Virgo may be, you know, what is kind of causing a little bit of this earth and fire element. Because, um, as I mentioned, as a Sagittarius here, you just want to go learn and you want to practice, again, what you have learned. The Eight of Pentacles is saying that there's certain things step by step, step here. Is a perfectionist. That's what the Eight of Pentacles is. And you right now are kind of feeling like, okay, I need, uh, you know, to look at uh, what do I need to master? What do I need to wait? At least you have gone uh, above the Seven of Pentacles. You already have put the work. Now it's about mastery. That's what it is talking. Now, if you're dealing with this person, they are very much concentrating here. They may be busy at work as well. What surrounds you is the sun. It's very beautiful. We're talking about happiness. Someone here very much feels, again, you are their joy and their happiness. This is what surrounds you. This is what the other person is feeling. There's a little bit of an um, egoism here with the sun or they can be very self-centered as well. We will see why. In your hopes and fears, you have the Page of Cups. The Page of Wands is coming towards you, but you have the Page of Cups uh, in your hopes and fears. You want someone to open up and express their love. Remember, it has to do with the Queen of Cups. Intuition we have here, learning to trust your intuition. Wanting someone to, again, write you that love letter for some of you with the Page of Cups expressing their feelings and telling you how they feel that's what you're hoping for oh my goodness this outcome has not been easy for all the signs that i've done i think you're the fourth here um with this spread the nine of swords there's going to be continuous um uh, overthinking here anxiety what are you worried about when it comes to this compromise we will see. We will clarify the Nine of Swords. Good news. This is your immediate future. But this saying, the Queen of Cups, if this is you, is saying that there's a lot of overthinking here. A lot of anxious thoughts. Stress. You, you can just not uh, keep your thoughts away here. Let's see what's going on with that. Remember, your biggest obstacles is compromise and building, not rushing in. If this is regarding a work situation, again, I feel like you are in a good position with the Eight of Pentacles. You are at mastery level there. You have overcome the obstacles or, again, the blockages. I want to see why the Nine of Swords is the best solution here regarding this Queen of Cups energy. One more. Oh my. This Nine of Pentacles, what's going on? Scorpio had this. Libra, I think, had this. Virgo had this. Oh my goodness. The Ten of Swords. 
and the five of wands He's going a lot of things with the tower there's a lot of chaos frustration as i mentioned mars is going retrograde and whatever has not been established here has to foundations crumbling down it has to do though regarding someone's freedom with that nine of pentacles regarding your stability regarding independence here someone might have given up it's been going a lot of tension by the way with the five of wands back and forth back and forth no matter what your immediate future is saying that things are going to resolve and whatever you've been waiting is going to come towards you you are very concerned. Someone might have given up or let go of this situation with the Ten of Swords. Because again, there was not enough uh, financial freedom here or someone could not do, you know, what they were supposed to do. When I look at this, sudden changes, and it has to do because someone wants to be free. If you have been, again, trying here to overcome any situation, feeling trapped, staying in a situation because of a codependency or because of money, it's saying that's not going to happen anymore. But this is going to cause a lot of stress. In the end, it's the best because it's saying it's going to let go of the tension here and the arguments or whatever you've been struggling with. But look at all of these kind of, you know, harsh energies that surround I mean, crisis, in a way, makes you move forward. But this is the goal. Being well off. Remember, you are at the Eight of Pentacles in your attitude. This is what you're trying to. The next step here, again, business-wise, uh, being independent here from whatever you have been holding back. So you're going to stress a lot about these changes, about an ending here, about letting go crisis but it's again it's for the bigger picture to be independent and well off you are hoping for the page of cups and again it's coming as a page of wands more impulsive more passionate here more quicker so good news are going to uh come here just that you are overthinking too much about these sudden changes things are not going to be the same and again it may be scary a little bit here but at the same time again it is all about you being independent and well off what surrounds you though in, in your environment you do have the sun so things are going to change for the better it's just that you keep thinking and thinking and thinking about that tower moment and about that upheaval um, it's a, a dramatic type of change going on here i hope this does resonate with you guys i appreciate all of you and i'll see you next time thank you bye-bye